You're rolling. Okay. So you're not going to get my face in the shot or anything. See this? Thing? Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So, well chopped clamps you need to use them before, right? Okay, gotcha. So let me show you what's different about this product. Okay? Cool. <clears throat> so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. What's the first thing you notice about this? It doesn't move. Exactly. Perfect. So, <clears throat> one of the reasons for that is on this, you can see right here, see this little guy? This little button right here? It's called our keeper. It's a braking system. And so that prevents this from, you know, sliding up and down like you would normally see the chatter on a lot of these clamps. So all I would do right here is I just kind of lean this forward a little bit, and you can see you can slide this up and down pretty easily, right? So that's advantage number one over all our other clamps that are on the market today. Doesn't matter who the manufacturer is, they all have the same drawbacks and the same capabilities, right? So number two, so this is a very big advantage right here. If you look real closely right there, see those teeth? Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, get a close-up of this. So this is what those teeth look like. So this is a case-hardened steel. And the reason why that's important is because, this is advantage number two, this sits on this C60 strength bar, advantage number three, because this is a high tensile strength. So these teeth bite right into this bar. And if you look real closely, I'm going to slide this out, you can see these marks right here. See where this is biting into the bar? The more that this bites into the bar, the, the stronger the, the grip is when you clamp this down on something. So that's three very distinct advantages over everything that's in the marketplace today. So as I advance this out, what's one of the things you notice like right here, what's missing? Uh, the pivot. What else? That too. The feet. Are the threads, right? Threads, so there's threads. no threads. That's a very distinct difference. What you're looking at, the reason why there's no threads, this is fully encased, so it's protected, weld spatter, dirt, debris, all that stuff doesn't collect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you internally what you're looking at. You've got these coarse threads right here, and as I advance this out, you see these smaller, thinner threads? These are reversed out. So the reverse threads um, actually compound with this, and what it does is it gives you a two-to-one ratio. So you've got this piston, that acts like a, uh, it acts like a piston and it advances out twice the speed and twice the compression. So this is vastly superior to anything that's out there in the marketplace right now. So what should be here on this cutaway, and I'll show you one other thing. So that's four and five things, right? If you look real closely right here, you're going to see this groove. So this keeps this from pivoting from side to side, turning around in circles. So why is that important, right? Typically, what you'll see is a lot of people will come up and they'll take, like let's say you take flat stock and you put two pieces together, right? You apply enough torque and what happens? You get the, the spin. So you would get the spin when they would move back and forth like this, right? That occurs with every clamp that's on the market. So because this acts as a piston and it's just pushing straight up and down, that problem goes away. <clears throat> you can get debris will fall into this little groove right here and it will get down there and because this is enclosed, You'll see right here, this is a lubrication joint. So if you have to put some lube down to get the threads to move a little bit smoother, you can do that. So that's another advantage. I think we're up to like six of them. Right so something I'm gonna show you, whoops. This is a demonstration on how precise these things are and how they work really well. So working with an F-series clamp and pipe, eh, doesn't really, it didn't really mesh very well, right? So if you look, you see these grooves right here. I can set a piece of pipe on this. And what I'll do is I'll just drop this straight down. You can see how this acts as a piston. I can lock that in and see how smooth this literally locks into place. And I can actually start crushing this. In fact, I'm gonna start doing this. You can see how this is starting to oval out a little bit. This is not moving. You could not do this with any other clamp that's out of the marketplace today. And then when I wanna draw this back, this is a nice smooth drawback. So it's another another huge advantage over things that are out there in the marketplace. So one of the things that I always ask people is, so you got all these advantages, right? You got the C60 strength bar, you got the piston system, lubrication joints, 
Oh, I forgot one thing. So this is an articulating handle. You can always make sure that you're pulling and you're in a power position. That's another, because it's ergonomically shaped. Being able to do this and always being able to have the maximum amount of power while you're doing this, that's another. So like, like seven advantages I think we're up to. So, you know, with that value there, intrinsically you would think that you would pay less, more, same. Like, what would you pay for a clamp like this? Probably more. For, okay. So a lot of people are a little bit surprised to find out that this clamp actually costs a lot less than the premier clamp that's out there. And when they see the price, it's actually pretty shot at it. So, um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. That's the plan. Oh, are you still recording? Okay, forgot to mention. So if you pan over to here, the name of the company is called Pure Clamps. Been in business for 60 years. Family owned business. They've been doing this for a long time. And I don't know what you're filming.